How to ward off an attacker. First off, you need muscles like this. That's step number one. If you don't have these going on right here, see that? If you don't have that, you can't ward off an attacker. I don't care who you are. You need to be strong, okay? Strong physically and strong mentally. Those are the rules, okay? So I'm gonna gear up here and I'm gonna show you at home how to defend yourself if some crazy guy comes out of the bushes, tries to flash himself and expose himself to you. If he does, I'm gonna show you what to do, okay? First off, here we go. Here's your attacker, right? So first off, you wanna stance. You wanna get a stance. So if, you know, if you're right-handed, you kinda want your right hand to be your power hand, all right? You want your left to be your jab. Now if you're left-handed, you wanna switch it up. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna show you right-handed techniques, ready? All right, here's the bad guy. You say, what are you doing? He comes out, he flashes you. You give him one right there, okay? You give him another one, okay? If he doesn't understand by then, if he doesn't back up, then you follow it up with the right, okay? I'm going to show you what that looks like at full speed. Ready? Whoa, what are you doing? What? All right, that's perfect, okay? You should get the point by then, but if he doesn't, it's so easy. One, two, three. And if that doesn't do the trick, you give him one of those. Follow it up, okay? Follow it up. Now you want to do one of these, these, and then if he really doesn't listen, you step in close and throw in an elbow, just like that, so it's not that hardcore. So I'm going to show you from this angle so you can see it from your first side. I'm going to pull up my pants. I've been losing a lot of weight practicing this, so now my pants don't fit. Go figure. Here we go, ready? All right, there's your one. Now, you said, you said, whoa, dude, back up. He says, no way. Look at my Johnson. No way. All right, you want to give him that. So, that's what it looks like from this angle. All right, that's what you want, okay? Now, let's say he actually exposes himself, right? He exposes himself, and you get the whole picture. Let's say you're too close. You can't throw those jabs or punches or anything like that, right? So here's what you want to do. You want to give him one right in the middle. All right? One right in the ding-dong, okay? One ding-dong shot, boom, down on the ground. You say, back up. You get the point. Back up. You always want to tell him to back up. You always want him to know that your space is your space, okay? So that way he understands that he shouldn't be messing with you, okay? Because if you tell him back up and he doesn't, you are then in your legal right to defend yourself. All right, so ding dong's out, right? You sit, you want to back up, dude. All right, now he's down, okay? Also, you can do, he exposes himself, you can give him one. Right there at the midsection, okay? Show you that again, ready? Right to the midsection. And give him one of those. Follow it up, okay? Follow it up. So you just go, go, go. Give it right there. Now those kicks and stuff, that's a little hardcore, okay? So, basically, if you're getting mugged and a guy comes out and he exposes himself, okay? He's coming over, he goes like this, he's got his jacket on, right? And he's like, hey buddy, come here, I gotta ask you a question. You're like, yeah man, what's going on? He's like, Johnson. Then you just say, whoa, back up. Back up, buddy. I don't want to see Johnson, man. I don't want to see Johnson. Give him a knee. You know, see what happened? Thank you for watching, and I hope this helps you. But remember, number one is muscles. So if you don't have muscles, you don't have anything. I'll catch you later, dude. He's like Johnson. He's like Johnson. He's like Johnson.